What's up, folks? This is Sizzlin'. Comic. RJ. And Troubleshoot here, back with another week of Halo Infinite News. Today, we'll talk about Operation Champions, the Battle for Reach Firefight playlist, and more. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now, let's jump right into it. Operation Champions is now live. Players can unlock free rewards and Spartan points from this operation's 20-tier free event pass, like the Emissary Helmet and Chess Piece. Buying either of the premium pass options will also grant players the Revian Claw Battle Rifle Weapon Model and the Falling Flame Weapon Coating, as well as make it so that the pass never expires. The new Firefight Battle for Reach playlist is also released with today's operation. This unique firefight mode allows players to fight waves upon waves of banished forces on classic Halo Reach maps, like Powerhouse and Courtyard. Additionally, one of the maps within this playlist is also the last mission from Halo Reach's campaign, Lone Wolf. Besides this new playlist, more surprises are sure to drop later on in the operation. We'll cover everything new with this operation and more, so stay tuned here for all the latest news on events and updates dropping into Halo Infinite. On to this week's shop. We got an exciting store selection for Operation Champions, with the Achilles armor set making its grand return in Halo Infinite. HDS playoff bundles are also still available featuring cross-core weapon and armor coatings, as well as championship bundles from 2022 onward. The first bundle in the shop is the Heroic Legacy Super Bundle, which contains all the items from the Achilles Ascendant and Eyes of the Emperor bundles, as well as the Uncanny Energy's Mythic Effects set. The second bundle in the shop is the Achilles Ascendant Bundle, which contains items like the Achilles Helmet, the Achilles Breastplate, and the Burned Scar Armor Coating. The third bundle in the shop is the Eyes of the Emperor bundle, which contains items like the Jingasa helmet, the Warded Scales chest piece, and the Silent Forest armor coating. The fourth bundle in the shop is the Mythic Magister bundle, which contains items like the Magister helmet, the Ambitious Pride weapon coating, and the Nine Bows BR Battle Rifle weapon model. The fifth bundle in the shop is the Halo WC 2024 Championship bundle, which contains items like the Sovereign Spear helmet, the War Ravaged Armor Coating, and the Solar Bandit Bandit Rifle Weapon Model. The sixth bundle in the shop is the Halo WC 2022 Victory Bundle, which contains the Halo WC 2022 Victory Armor and Weapon Coating, as well as the Victory Laurel's Armor Effect. The seventh bundle in the shop is the Halo WC 2023 Championship Bundle, which contains the Uppercut Chance Armor Coating and the Victory Wings Armor Effect. The eighth bundle in the shop is the Emil Bundle, which contains the Unshackled Fury Armor Coating, the Resilio Shoulders, and the Emil Helmet. The ninth bundle in the shop is the Level Up Bundle, which contains items like the Retroid Lockout Armor Effect, the Retroid Emulator Kill Effect, and the Retroid Aftermarket Mythic Effects Set. The tenth bundle in the shop is the Oriate Midnight Bundle, which contains the Oriate Midnight Vehicle Coating, the Oriate Midnight Weapon Coating, and the Fireteam Colossus Emblem. The last item in the shop is the D20 Weapon Charm. Crazy amount of items in this week's shop. That Achilles bundle is really giving me some Halo 5 Warzone flashbacks. As always, check out the Infinite News Twitter to catch all the daily and weekly items the minute they are released. Time for this week's Halo Infinite promotions. New Twitch drops will be available to unlock this weekend during the HCS Salt Lake City Major Event. Players can unlock these rewards by watching the competition online through the Halo Twitch channel, the HCS Twitch channel, and through participating co-streamer channels from September 6th to September 8th. Anyone can earn rewards like the Ivory Guard Armor Coating, the Magma Vent Weapon Coating, and the Cherry Bomb Warthog Coating by watching these live streams. Be sure to catch these HCS streams over this coming weekend if you wish to unlock these sharp cosmetic items for Halo Infinite. A new vehicle coating can be earned by purchasing a recently released Mega Construct set. By purchasing the new Mega Construct's UNSC Arctic Burn Wasp set, 
You can get yourself the Arctic Burn vehicle coating for Halo Infinite. After purchase, a code can be found within the box which can be entered on the Halo Waypoint website to receive the coating in the game. If you want to stylize your vehicle with this sleek exclusive coating, purchase this set and strike fear into the hearts of your enemies on the Big Team Battlefield. For more information about the Twitch promotion, the Mega Constructs promotion, or any of the other ongoing Halo Infinite promotions, check out the Infinite News website. It's now time for this week's Community Highlights. Artist Soul created this piece of Master Chief and Cortana and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the artwork, we can see the Master Chief standing beside a giant holographic projection of Cortana. We really like the shading and line work of this piece. Despite being in the shadows, Master Chief looks fantastic while holding Cortana's chip close to his chest plate and we really like how we can see various levels of light within the shading work done for both characters. The line details of this piece are also phenomenal, and we especially like the scan lines and outer glow seen around Cortana's figure. Superb finishing touches for a holographic projection. This artwork perfectly shows the concern and admiration Cortana holds towards humanity's savior, the Master Chief. To see this piece, as well as more amazing works from Soul, Follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. 3D artist Chunch created this render titled Last of Their Kind and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see the Master Chief maneuvering over jagged rocks along with two other Spartans. We really like the lighting and atmosphere of this piece. These Spartans look stunning posing along the rough rocky terrain, and they look absolutely amazing with the background flare casting a dim orange light right onto their backsides. The atmosphere of this piece is also incredible, and we like how the dark snowy weather just barely hides the foreigner terrain elements seen in the background. Master Chief and his fellow Spartans are truly the last option humanity has against total annihilation, and this render perfectly shows them in their element. To see this piece, as well as more extraordinary works from Chunch, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. Artist Mackie Does Art created this piece titled Reminiscing of Times Past and shared it to Reddit this past week. In the artwork, we can see the members of Noble Team posed in front of a billowing cloud of smoke. We really like the style and shading work that went into this piece. Noble Team looks glorious emerging from the towering cloud of smoke, and we really like how they're all posed around Noble Six, who we can see is standing stoically in the very center. The shading of this piece is also expertly done, and the way we can see shadows across the characters in the background smoke itself is nothing short of phenomenal. This artwork definitely has us reminiscing the sacrifices Noble Team made during the Battle of Reach, as well as getting us excited to try out Halo Infinite's new Battle for Reach Firefight playlist. To see this piece, as well as more breathtaking works from Mackie Does Art, follow the link to their Reddit post in the description below. It's now time for the Forge Map Spotlight. This week, we have two infection maps to showcase. The first map we are featuring today is great if you're in need of a quick getaway vehicle. This is Cops and Robbers by Halo Infinite Foragers Dr. Zero Zero and Rogun. This map takes place on a bustling highway filled with cars, trucks, and super angry cops and is great for the custom infection mode Highway Pursuit. This infection map is chaotic but also an absolute blast to play on. We love the many lanes players can weave in between in order to escape the police as well as the sidewalks and bridges that surround this dangerous highway. Survivors are tasked to drive for as long as they can on this busy motorway while escaping the infected police that wish to stop them. Convicts have an assortment of vehicles to choose from in order to escape the cops, such as warthogs and razorbacks, while the cops also have a vast arsenal of weapons and vehicles to choose from, such as gun gooses and wasps. Just be wary when getting close to any opposing enemy, however, as anyone can hijack your vehicle if you end up getting too close. Many different items like grapple shots and fusion coils can also be used to either push back the cops or to even stop escaping bad guys, and players can even find parked vehicles if their main vehicle ends up getting blown up. Spartans will either have to ally with their fellow convicts or their partner officers if they wish to take out the opposition present on this busy urban motorway. To lose your wanted level on this map for yourself, 
bookmark Dr. Zero Zero's and Rogun's map and game mode via the Halo Waypoint links in the description below. The second map we're featuring today is great if you're a night guard in need of a new job. Round one. This is Fazbear's Pizzeria, 1987, by Halo Infinite Forger Commando Llama 489. This map is a recreation of the Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria as seen in the game Five Nights at Freddy's 2, and is great for the custom infection game mode Freddy's Night Shift. This map has astonishing details and great places to hold out from terrors lurking in the shadows. We love the many rooms featuring broken lights and ominous set pieces, as well as the areas that seem great to hold out with fellow Night Guard Spartans. We're especially impressed with the set pieces that look as if they were pulled straight out of the Five Nights at Freddy's games themselves. Players can pretend to be the Night Guards and hold out in the security office at the end of this hallway or explore the pizzeria in order to find better spots to survive the infected animatronic Spartans. One aspect we really like about this map is how the infected players are able to navigate the building using air vents located through the walls and up in the ceiling. Additionally, only the infected are able to use these air ducts, just like the animatronic scene in the Five Nights at Freddy's games. When exploring the building, players will be able to find plenty of weapons placed in rather unique locations, as well as ammo pickup stations that are useful when low on ammo. Some may wonder why any Spartan would want to stay overnight at such a dangerous, haunted pizzeria. However, only Spartans know the fun that can be had when teaming up to fight off trap spirits that still haunt this very building. To survive five nights, or rounds, on this map for yourself, Bookmark Commando Llama 489's map and game mode via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. Before we sign off today, we'd also like to again feature this cool community project headed by Halo community member Jumperscape over on Twitter and Indiegogo. They, along with a bunch of talented Halo artists, some of which we featured on this channel, are putting together an incredible 2025 Halo calendar featuring amazing Halo artworks. This calendar will even feature important dates pertaining to both Halo canon events and real-life Halo-related events, as well as when players can see in-game Easter eggs, like the Halo 3 Valhalla sigils. Even though this community project has already met its goal, anyone can still acquire a Halo calendar for 10 more days. Additionally, other perks will also grant you different rewards, such as a crocheted Halo plush and even a game night with the creators. To support this project and to also acquire yourself an epic Halo calendar, check out Jumperscape's Halo Community Calendar project, linked in the description below. That is all the community highlights we have for you folks today. If you'd like to see your art, maps, or Halo clips potentially featured here, be sure to join our Discord link below. And feel free to say hi and share your creations from time to time. That is all the infinite news we have for you folks today. Play Operation Champions now to unlock rewards and to play in the new Battle for Reach Firefight playlist. Remember to send feedback to 343 on all of their social media pages so that they can better improve all aspects of Halo Infinite for the future. Also, check out the shop and review the promotions if you want to claim additional items for your spark. Follow the links in the description for more info on everything shown today. And check out Infinite News for more on what's new in Halo Infinite. Operation Champions is finally here, and we should get even more news and updates later in the operation. Hop on now to complete this new pass and to play some classic Halo Reach firefight. Enjoy September, everyone. We will see you all in Infinite.